Let's use formal charge to determine the Lewis dot structure for nitrogen monoxide. In calculating valence electrons, nitrogen has five, oxygen has six. So we have a total of 11 valence electrons. So we first draw the bond that uses up two electrons. And we have nine to go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We don't have enough to go around, so let's try a double bond. Nitrogen has enough, oxygen has two, four, six, seven. Okay, um, so that's one possibility. We're not going to get um, two full octets with an odd number of electrons. Um, let's try a triple bond. Would that work? It's probably not going to work. Let's see here. That's six electrons. And then seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, neither nitrogen or oxygen has a, an expanded valence, so we can't add an extra electron to either nitrogen or oxygen, so that's not going to work. Let's actually put a line through that. We could, let's see, we could put the, extra, the, um, the short electron, leave nitrogen short an electron, not oxygen, so give oxygen everything it needs and leave nitrogen short, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11. I think those are the two possibilities. So let's um, calculate formal charge and see which one is correct. Let's put that there closer. This will be A and this will be B. Okay, so we're going to do the formal charge of the A structure. Okay. Remember, formal charge is the number of valence electrons minus the number of non-bonding electrons minus one-half the number of bonding electrons. The number of bonding electrons. So for nitrogen in the A structure, nitrogen has five valence electrons. In this case, nitrogen has four non-bonding electrons, let's do that, and it has four bonding electrons, and half of that is two. So nitrogen has a charge of, has a formal charge of negative one. Formal charge of oxygen would be its valence electrons, which is six, minus the number of non-bonding electrons, which is three, minus two electrons, which is half the number of bonding electrons, and that's going to be positive one. I don't like this already because nitrogen has the negative charge and oxygen has, excuse me, the positive charge, and oxygen is more electronegative than nitrogen. So if they have to have formal charges, it would be better the other way around, oxygen with a negative one and nitrogen with a positive one. Ideally, we'd like everybody to have a zero formal charge. Let's look at structure B. Structure B, formal charge of nitrogen is five valence electrons minus the number of unbonded electrons, which is three minus the number, uh, half the number of bonding electrons. There are four electrons involved in the bond, so half of that is two. And the formal charge of nitrogen is zero. I like that already. Formal charge of oxygen is going to be its number of valence electrons, which is six, minus the number of non-bonding electrons, which is four. minus one half the number of bonding electrons, which is going to be four divided by two, which is two. So that's zero. Much, much better. Everyone's formal charge is zero, oxygen and nitrogen. So this would be the Lewis dot structure of nitrogen monoxide. Let me draw that, that all the circles here. Be a double bond between the nitrogen and the oxygen. Oxygen has a full 
outer shell and nitrogen is missing one.